unload my load, see? And then the rain came down there. Look, it makes a good job, the little mower. There and the back. Um, yeah, so back to work it is. In that way. That's my little cubby hole there. The office there. Beautiful in there. And that's my other one here. That's where I do my sitting over with all the records. And a flag over there, man. Tell you. Okay, so that's my humble little boat here. Oh, the computer's down there, put it out of the way so the sun can come in. And here we are, we're on this uh, hydrogen project of the tanks over there, in the jet engine there. That's an Air Force One, that one, and the latest 777 jets, that engine right there. And we were using that on the land and taking these gas bottles, or filling them up rather, in the ship. That's, they'll stay in the ship and go into Auckland. This is what I planned before with the Transpower and Vector Power Companies in 2012. So the, the ship will go there with the tanks in tact uh, and um, um, we'll fill them up the tanks under the sea, under the, under the sea, somewhere where the um, harbour is, the bridge, and um, pipe it in uh, to the tanks there and the pipes come and we connect the power at the bridge. Uh, there, the transformer under the bridge onto the main power line going north. Uh, so that's the plan. To save going up um, uh, Hobson Street, we just come straight off the generators under the sea. These, these things here will be running under the sea where you can't see them, and the tanks will be under the sea, nothing seen, and then the pipes. And run the electricity straight onto the bridge, onto the main wire there. Now, they were putting that in when I first started this project. Um, back in uh, 2010. So uh, that's what we're going to do that, only longer, from one turbine to the next, to the next, to the next, and then we have an airport on the top to land the planes. That one there is off England, um, about 15, 20 miles out, um, so it's, a, it's a, a small country of its own, that's what we're going to do. In 250 countries we'll have these things with the turbine spinning, and the, this part here will be going up and down, one down here and one up here. The one down here will go down and lift all the all the uh, pump and all the turbines and each floor up. Each building detaches, unbolts and keeps unbolting and straight onto the ship. The ship will come in here, under here, <coughs> and it will drop the um, um, whole assembly into the water. And there's one of those ships uh, here, I'll go here. And that's our target there, the uh, British Lapcat uh, A2 plane to fill it up and with hydrogen. That's hydrogen four hours from New Zealand to London, usually takes 24 hours. Well, that won't fly without that. Okay, Matt? And that. Um, that's about the size of the centre pipe, 25 metres from here to here. And... Um, um, We'll, we'll be putting, joining these up one to the other, 50 metres between one and the other, and right along 200 metres, and the plane will land on 200 metres on a magnetic strip. It'll pull it up and throw it off with the air. The air will pull it up, and the air will throw it off, and then the jet engines take over. So that's what, that's what we're going to do with that. Drop it on 200 metre long air, air, airport, and uh, it's moving like a conveyor belt and um, the air will pull it up. Okay, so there's it, in the size of a big jumbo there. And our ship here, if we can get onto that, you'll notice that this is one of those ships, look how much it's carrying. This is heavier than our um, two-part um, um, platform. Well, we, we, we take it out the first bit, two buildings is lower than that. Uh, two buildings is 24 metres high, that's more than 20, 24 metres. Each building that we're building, the big 60 metre, is round, and that's 36 metre wide. And um, um, ours is 60, so that's uh, 4, uh, 40, that's 24, 12 metres sticking out both sides, which is not too much overhang. And that's a very wide ship. That one's for sale, I'm hoping that we can get that. And uh, we're halfway there. This is the main. This ship here can put everything up by itself with hydraulic 
RAMs and nothing else. It will put all our project up by itself. It'll come with the big two buildings and the legs. The 12 legs will sit on top and they'll stick out and roll on um, a thing over here and a thing over here. It'll sit on the top like a, a truck, um, um, well side deck truck with its um, a bar up the top and the things going along. There's rollers over there that can roll the pipes back and forwards and it rolls onto the top of the building right over the hole and it lifts it straight into the hole and straight down to the seabed in one operation. So it should take um, uh, two loads. This it, ship will come, put that in, then it, it lifts itself out, out of the water, the two buildings. One goes under the water and one stays up off the seabed. And the other one will take the pumps and everything down to make sure they get to the bottom. And it will pull the whole lot out one at a time um, um, with that building. That's what it's there for. Uh, so um, then the ship will go back to China and pick up the rest of the tanks. Each, each section is 12 metres high. And they'll come and they'll drop one by one in, into the centre of the shaft. The shaft will come last. The big building goes up with its eight legs first and then the shaft will come back in down the middle with the four legs. It'll drop down on its four legs. Okay? Uh, we have one of those buildings inside the building here to block it right up with the four legs already in there. And there's eight legs altogether that holds the whole thing together and it's not going to go anywhere. Okay? So that's how that works. We're hoping that ship there. And this is a 10-seater. That's 1.3 million um, pounds, uh, dollars, US dollars. That's a, a very good plane to carry the workers backwards and forwards on that ship and our turbine project out here, that, on the top of there. Okay? Like that. Like that, Matt. And I'm just explaining it now to you. We'll do a video after of, of it and so that I can explain everything how it works. But this is just I'm waiting for the rain to finish so I can tidy up my <coughs> rest of my outside and that's that job done. I just need to uh, uh, get the... Uh, don't look very tidy today. I'm in a mechanic -y mood and a um, lawnmower mood. Um, so um, I've just got to do some work on my car and take it in for a warrant. It's got a rego for one year. So I've just got to check it, make sure everything's okay before I take it into V, T and Z. Um, it's $57 for uh, seniors for warrant fitness, otherwise it's $61 or something for check, that's warrant fitness, uh, check, fitness test. Should be okay, I've just got to check the engine and make sure there's no oil leaks and things like that around and nothing's broken. I'll do it myself and um, uh, get on with the work. Uh, at the present time, I'm waiting for Harold Link to give me a call about this. I can't see why he doesn't jump on it straight away and tell me what his intentions are and what they were in the first place. Uh, it's quite puzzling um, because I'm, I'm an engineer. I can talk to engineers, okay, no problem. But when it comes to finance, I want to see who gets the money and what for and where it goes to. That's why I'm keeping track on every bit of part to make sure the people that supply them will guarantee it and I guarantee what my part is to make sure the turbine spins. Okay, so that's I'll make a video afterwards when I clean up a little bit. Um, but this was just running outside back inside because it poured down and now it's stopped and I'll just go and um, carry on finish my work outside and decide to go for a walk around the block. I always feel a bit in a mood to go. I'll go and get me some hoo-ha that's uh, the dandelion weeds, um, the weeds um, um, for my corned <coughs> uh, beef um, stew. It's very nice, good for you. And that's um, helping to keep my blood pressure down and make my sleep better so I can think more um, about this, where we're going with it. So the main uh, thing um, uh, with this, uh, Matt Taylor, is that you have to tell people of England and Britain, UK, they own this. Every single person in Britain that's king-bound, not queen-bound, she's up with the fairies with all the crooked stuff going on there. It's all a wrecked mess that she's running, a racket. 
this is the king, we'll fix everything up. This is this belongs to the king, Matt. So you go and do your Pied Piper thing and, and gather them all together. And this is straight business. Corporate, we are corporate king's business um, in this uh, Sea of Admiralty and the maritime on the land at the port of birth and the Admiralty from one country to the other in the sea and in the sky in the blue of that flag we got um, uh, map. That's, that's, that's the uh, authority, the legal authority that we use to get around the world with this tidal turbine project. It's got its brand right on it. The Maui statue standing in London, Queen Elizabeth's Great Court in London, that's ours. We'll use that authority over anybody that's stolen it. Well, that's Queen Victoria stole it off East Island, that's my family my royal Tahitian Wanoa family, uh, and also um, the flag of the king's emperors um, that um, are the jurisdiction and authority of what we do in the sea and with the power that's coming off this turbine. 5,000 megawatts of power, electricity off the shaft. Okay, that's straight. No losses in that lot. It's all water bearings uh, right through. And the um, General Electric or Elstrom, Elstrom, it's the Elstrom generator, the big one with 25, 21 metres diameter on its stator, that's the poles on the outside. We don't need 80 poles, but um, we only need four poles to get 1500 RPM. Well, we've got the pressure to adjust any generator that's big enough. The, the biggest one is 840 megawatts, uh, 840 um, megavolt amps. Um, uh, that's Elstrom or General Electric. Uh, that's one big one turning on top of our turbine motor. The motor, we've got the turbine pump. That's the big one. That's 50 metres diameter inside the 60 metre legs. And the building is 60 metres, right? That's holding the whole structure together. And the, um, um, that's the pump and the motor, the piston pump or plunger. Injector pump and the uh, motor, the hydro motor, the water hydro motor, um, uh, is um, is that's um, eighteen, about eighteen meters diameter. It's rotor, okay. It's rotor. It's straight veins, so there's no loss in uh, torque. It's got its full torque there, straight straight in from that pump, straight in with four two one zero tons per square inch. Of pressure straight on to that and we can regulate it lower than um, what's required to spin the six generators that are 840 megawatts each okay so that's um, uh, 5,000 megawatts give or take a few uh, or megawatts of power electricity we're going to use the whole lot of that electricity to split the seawater into hydrogen and oxygen and compress it with big compressors that are running off that shaft as well, or hydraulically with its own motor, which is better. The hydraulic motor with the same one as running those big turbines, uh, generators, and those big turbine generator, the rotor is 5,050 tons. So that's floating on water, there's no bearings. It's floating on water above this other turbine that's floating on water as well. So you see? The secret in this whole thing is that nothing's going to wear out, only the generator poles, if anything. There's nothing to wear out, Matt. It just keeps going forever. As long as the coating has got that uh, enamel on it, or treated as such, then I'm working on that at the moment um, with a company that will do the whole thing. Uh, the other company, the tank company that I was using, can only do sheets with uh, enamel. But um, we have to get one that'll do the big shaft, one piece. The legs, there's 12 of them, four in the middle shaft, and eight on the outside buildings. The two buildings, 12 meters high each, and 60 meters diameter, they go slide up and down the shaft, and that will lift the whole ship out of the water, just like that ship here is lifting all that weight on its back. Also, this jack-up barge, or whatever, a jack up with the eight legs will lift the whole ship out of the sea. Okay? When we're not using it, we'll just lift it out of the sea and stay in it. Okay? We've got all that deck 
to do it, a lot of things on until we it can put up all the rest of the buildings there and um, um, in sections. It can, it, can, it can assemble everything by itself. What we do is we put the legs up, we, we, we lie them on top of the, put the buildings up on, on the boat and that's 60 metres about halfway. And we put the legs, stack them all up in a line, they'll get to the end of the deck. There's plenty of room for them, to 150 metres each. The boat is 144 metres long, so some of the legs will be sticking off the end, out off the, uh, off the end, end of the boat. The cab is up the front, and all the materials back, and those pipes can slide on the rollers up the top, slide back and forwards like that. So what the, the trick is, slide them back, when we get to the site, slide them right over the hole, and it's got an attachment there with a hinge on it, put the pin in, and the two rams go up the sides and push it up straight up there, and drop it straight in the hole and go straight down to the bottom of the ocean. Okay, that's after it's taken off the boat. Boat comes along, sinks, drops the whole two buildings on, oh, we put the legs in first and sit them up. Sit them on, so they're sticking right up. The ship backs out, oh, ship sinks, buildings float, ship goes out, buildings come down onto the sea, floats, legs down, hits the seabed, up out of the water comes the buildings. Okay, that's how it works. And so you have those, like, well, I'll, I'll talk about it later. I'll just get on with um, toting up outside. We'll talk about it later. Okay, Matt? Okay, Matt. So yeah, today it's um, Tuesday the uh, 4th of uh, September 2018. John Wanoa here in Kerikeri, Northland, New Zealand. Bye. See you later. Have a nice day.